little coder we just covered this new text embedding textual inversion embedding for stable diffusion called cat turner cat turner helps you create images of different poses so if you have got images generated out of stable diffusion you can use cat turner embedding to create different poses and different angles of these Im same image it is quite useful if you are going to generate game assets or something like that like anime or something what I realized after making that video is that I actually did not do enough justice for this model by using a base version of stable diffusion model. And after the video, I tried out this with anything V3 and it works absolutely very well with anything model. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use the same cat turner, but I'm going to use it with a different model. I'm going to show you what kind of images that I managed to create. For that, first of all, I'm going to go to this amazing repository by Cam and Drew. And I'm going to look for the anything three, anything V3 model here. I'm going to click open and collab. And then that is going to take me to the collab notebook here. Once I reach the collab notebook here, I'm going to click runtime and select change runtime and then see if I've got GPU access. If I've got GPU, then I'm going to click runtime and I'm going to click run all. Once I click run all, it's going to take a couple of minutes where it is going to install the required libraries install automatic 11, 11 and UI, and then it is going to download the required model, which in this case is anything V3 model. After we have downloaded anything V3 model, we have to click the Gradio link and that Gradio link will take us to this interface, which is a very familiar interface. If you are familiar with stable diffusion world, then go here and then click the Civit AI tab. If you are using it on your local machine, or if you are using it on your custom automatic 11, 11, 11 UI, then you need to go to the civitai.com and then download this latest embedding. It says download latest, the 13 KB file embedding, and then you have to put it inside your embedding folder. But if you are like me, you are trying to use it on Google Colab, this is the easiest way like I'm showing you right now. You reach this automatic 1111 11 UI and then click the Civit AI tab. After you click the Civit AI tab, click textual inversion, and then go here and type the name Cat Turner. After you click Cat Turner, click so enable this search by term icon, the checkbox, and then click get list. After you click get list, go click the model dropdown. If you do not see anything here, make sure you have already selected textual inversion. If you have selected checkpoint or if you have selected hyper network, this will not show any result. So please make sure that you have got textual inversion in place. Then select the model and then go here and then see and then click download the model. For this model, the invoke command is cat turner. And in the previous video, I actually showed you how you can write effective prompt for this, but I'm going to just repeat it for the sake of people who have not seen that video. One thing that I would like to say the huge difference between the previous video and the new video is that because we have changed the base model, because this is anything V3 model, the kind of images that we generate are absolutely brilliant. And then this is amazing. It works very well for cartoon characters. It works very well for, um, anime characters, it doesn't work very well for human beings. It also works very well for um, um, things, you know, that that you wouldn't have probably seen. Like for example, if somebody has got a very complex shirt or a, like an armor, it really makes it a really good looking back for them as well. Before we move into that detail, I would like to quickly sh take you through my parameters here. We have got the friend, uh, sorry, we have got the positive prompt and the negative prompt as um, you are quite familiar with. I'll come to the positive prompt later, but the number of steps is 30 and the sampler I'm using is DPM plus plus Keras. And uh, I've got a width of 700 and height of 512. If you use a square image, it's going to just give one same, um, you know, just two poses. If you use slightly landscaped one, you might get a slightly better width. If you use very large, like if you use double, like let's say you have got 1024 by 512, then you would start noticing that your characters have a short height. You would look, it would look like, you know, they've been squeezed and it, it's happening. So keep something um, lesser than double. So I would say like somewhere around 1.5 ish that should kind of help you. So 1.5 ish of the height should be your width approximately. You can use high risk fix that has been advised, but if you do not want to use high risk fix, that's fine. If you have uh, limitations of the time it gen takes to generate. CFG scale somewhere around seven to 10 and a very high seed value. At this point, now we have to focus on the prompt in itself. The prompt template is quite simple. You need the invoke command that says cat turner art by smooth to 
also helps a lot in terms of genera generating the image the main thing is you have to say full body character turn around of whatever character for which you are trying to generate the image and then you can add details like highly detailed friend you can say that on the same character in the same outfit you know you can add details like this all the time but the main thing here is you have the invoke word and you also have the full body of character the full body character full body of character turn around of a male policeman or whatever and again this model like at least particularly anything v3 i've uh, noticed that it particularly tends to generate more women and female characters so sometimes when i just want a male character i'm going to explicitly call it out in the negative prompt saying i don't want a woman or a girl character but if you do not give it most likely i see like for example even if i say kitten like a cat it actually generates a female character rather than a kitten actually so let's go ahead and then see what is my current prompt so this is the image that i've got i've got a front back and then sideways it looks really good but in this case the uh, the character is just wearing a blazer so you don't really appreciate how good this model is so i'm going to say full body character or turn around of a male humanoid robot and uh, let's see sometimes it tends to cut the head um, that's another problem that you might face so if you face that problem say either you have to change the seed value or you have to change the prompt in itself for it to uh, i mean you just have to explore the latent space so you can change the seed value or you can change some other parameter and see how it changes but for now i've said full body character turn around of a male humanoid robot and um, and i've kept every other detail the same thing and you can see uh, it doesn't the front is quite cut off but you can see how detailed it is like if you want extend it a little bit so you can go till 800 and then see how if it actually manages to cover that image as well so you can see the details to this image that the pattern you can see the pattern it's quite um, perfect um, in this case the back is not as same as the front but you can see the details in here this is quite good the lot of lot of information in this like for example if you see the shoe if you see the dress pattern if you see um, if they are wearing any armor if they have got a cap if they have got a hat if they got any kind of head cover in this case again like you can see that it has covered it has um, blackened the he head but you can see the details in this is quite amazing like i, I was really super impressed when i used this textual inversion embedding with the anything v3 model and it it really works fine so you can also change the sample sometimes and then you can see really better details um it's not like the same sampler will always give you the better detail um sometimes you know you can play around with the sampler to see how the sample a different sampler can produce a different result the head is still cut so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and then um add some more detail i'm going to say a viking warrior this is something that i tried in the last one but i had a typo in my warrior but let's see in this case what happens so i've said a full body of character turn around i think it should be full body character that's okay uh, of a viking warrior highly detailed front and uh, if you don't want these details you can remove it always again you can see that despite having a negative prompt of women and a girl it still managed to generate a woman character and you can see that it looks slightly crushed also because you know my width is becoming bigger and bigger so it's trying to fit four poses within that so the character looks slightly short and you can see um you can try different things like for example you can uh, with uh, with the highly detailed uh, armor and then you can now give it and then see what kind of armor it generates but mostly you would see that it is quite consistent in the way like for example after this image gets generated hopefully if it is proper i'm going to give you certain details that i actually absolutely enjoyed okay it's not perfect but let's stick to this the shoes are quite good the hairstyle is quite good the armor you can see the details of the armor is quite good the armor like the kind of details that you would see everywhere it is absolutely brilliant and uh, that's one of the reason why i like this embedding a lot and why i also decided to make another video because I think in the first video I used Runway ML Stable Diffusion 1.5, and I don't think that it does justice to what this model can do it. And this this model is absolutely brilliant. You can also go here and then see more examples of what people have done. You can try to use some of this. All the all these things may not exactly work because you know everybody has used a different model in every case. But um, you you can always try and then see how it works for you and then use it. 
so a lot of examples are there even you can scroll down and then you can see what kind of um, images people have used and you can see this as well the kind of details it has managed to you can see the kind of details it has managed to turn the back the front and then the back the hairstyle the shoe the heels um the hand um i think absolutely it is one of the best models that i've seen uh, in recent times i said male but still it managed to generate something like this that's another problem with this model uh, especially anything v3 so you have to really work hard with your negative prompts but the kind of quality the responses that you get is absolutely brilliant i would strongly encourage you to check this out um this especially this uh, this embedding textual inversion embedding which is in this case is a cat turner also with this model anything v3 where it generates beautiful results and one of the thing a lot of people ask me after i publish the previous video is that um uh, like how do we how, how do we get transparent images male let me let me give something else male robot um cyborg cyborg okay so you there is no easy way to generate transparent background um that's something that we need to keep in mind but what you can do is you can generate contrasting background uh, so that it makes it easier for you to use a magic wand or a lasso tool or something like this so in this case you can see the background and foreground uh, are quite contrasting and uh, that is quite helpful so let me change the prompt so you can play with that um, and you can even specify for example if you have seen my first image i actually wanted a policeman but i also made sure the next prompt uh, that the policeman had a glass so you, you you can see like i i absolutely love this model and there is a good amount of potential like you can easily use the background and the foreground and you can cut it or you can also go here and then give um, with with the very dark yellow background i don't know why dark yellow background so i assume that uh, maybe dark yellow wouldn't be um wouldn't be part of the foreground image so that's why i gave it but again if you want to add details to the image like sunglasses you can easily do it this model is quite okay it it misunderstood my prompt but uh, but again it shows how good this model is in terms of the detail that it can generate i hope you like this model uh, sorry embedding and please use it with anything v3 or uh, some something um, like uh, what the author has tried which in this case a dreams model so use it if you if you use it with a beige model you might get some result but it may not be the best because this is more on the anime and cartoon and 3d style but if you use it with any of these kind of models it's going to really look good and that's what i realized after making the first video and that's why i made the second video i hope this was helpful to you uh, also there was a question about image to image i tried image to image it was not working out fine if it's working out fine for you let me know in the comment section i see you in the next video all the links will be in the youtube description happy prompting